Дим? So once again, I am a nameless, formless, and dimensionless entity. Just a trigger for you. I told this because now we have got the clarity that we are no more bodies. We are conscious entities. But because you cannot see me through your skin eyes, that is why I need to introduce myself in terms of my body. I am Shubhash Chandra Sarangi. Easy to remember the Sarangi musical instrument or Shubhash Chandra Bosch, whatever is convenient to you. Belongs to Bhuvaneshwar, Odisha. I served the Ministry of Railways for three decades, out of which two decades I spent as head of the department in mechanical engineering in a journal training center of Indian Railways, looking after the training administration and human resource development. After terminating the career in Ministry of Railways six years ago, when I put forth my voluntary retirement, I have been continuing my career with the Department of Personnel and Training, that is called DOPT, that is the Apex Governing Body, taking care of the training functions of civil service officers of the country. Primarily, you can say that looks after the training, learning, development, education, and human resource performance enhancement of civil servants. Regarding my family, I have a very small family and happy family, of course. Parents have passed away, no brother, sisters are married and they have their own independent families. And we are blessed with no child. I loved a girl for eight years and after eight years I got married to the same girl only. For eight years she remained as the password of my email and after eight years we have been living the conjugal life for 25 years. Just before marriage, there were some marriage agenda and one of the agenda items was not to have any child. The basic purpose was to invest all our resources. Resources in terms of our energy, in terms of our time, in terms of our body and intellectual resources, whatever gifted by God towards human charity and societal development. When I was in service, the present service is not a regular service, it's a part-time assignment, you can say. It's an honorary service. I am working as a training advisor for government. When I was in active service, that time, the 10% of my monthly earning was being invested for the societal development. When I retired, we jointly decided that our investment towards social uh, development should be doubled. The earning was half, reduced to half but the investment was increased by doubled, it was doubled. The main inspiration behind this journey in this UHP field is my wife, I can say proudly. She is a naturopathy consultant, runs a clinic, independent, proactive, but always supportive. And regarding my key takeaways, I can say, uh, my participation in this USB 3 that has really given a profound spark from what I was and what I am today. Few of my key takeaways. My compatibility with the people, the ability to connect and relate with the people has significantly improved, enhancing my relationship and collaboration with others. My inner stability has helped me to improve, cultivate the inner stability and calmness, enabling to navigate the challenges of life with resilience and grace. Third one is my independence from the external behavior. The behaviors of others is no longer having a deep impact, almost no impact on my state of being. I have gained a sense of inner strength and autonomy over my own thought process. My focus has shifted towards deepening my self-exploration journey with greater mindfulness. I could develop a focused imagination, realizing its power in shaping the reality and driving the positive creativity and innovativeness 
in my life. Throughout my life, I have seen so many kinds of investment, mostly the financial investment, different kinds of schemes. It may be LIC, it may be fixed deposits. But this is the only thing, only domain where I could understand that I can invest myself, by myself, for myself. So this is the wonderful shift that I could grasp from this UHB practice, UHB participation. There is no need of any financial investment that may be least ignorable part of it. But I need to invest myself first and that investment has to be made by myself only and for the sake of my own development or elevation. In last January, I shifted to Bhubaneswar to my new apartment and that apartment holds 126 families. It is as big as a village, you can say. So 126 families living together in a single campus. Of course, three big buildings are there, but embedded within the same campus. In February, we started a small demonstration for the people, for the families living inside the apartment. Out of 126 families, we have a common society, common uh, community hall also. Beautiful demonstration arrangement is there. Even though intimation was communicated to each family, but only 50 to 60 families participated in the month of February. And there was a demand, subsequent to that, there was a demand that again, another session may kindly be conducted. And in the second session that was held in March, last March, double of the family members joined in the program. That was just a UHB demo session. This is the second demo session I'm talking about. And just before coming to Chennai, I started my journey on 30th April. Three days before the commencement of my journey, there was a third demo session and a new LCD projector has been purchased for that. And the room was sought to accommodate all the participants. The community hall became shorter. So they have decided to sit in the open ground use the LCD projector and every month in the last Sunday all the family members are getting to uh, going to be gathered there. So what I mean to communicate here is the impact of our content, the USB content that not only connected we people among ourselves but it has the potential to get the people connected around us. It is so powerful that it attracts the people, it penetrates the heart and mind of the people and they get automatically connected to the process. It's seven minutes. Yeah. yeah. To be, <coughs> be brief, regarding the submergence, I perceive the people, the objects and situations as they are Rather than evaluating themselves, I can see that all the people are nothing but the coexistence of two units. One is conscious and the other one is material unit. And they have their own mindset. They have their own preconditioning and assumptions. So I should not bother. I should not intervene in their activities. So far as the competency is concerned, based upon my right understanding, if I feel that somebody is lacking right understanding, somebody is lacking competence because of which the behavior is something different which is not desirable by me, which is not up to my expectation, then it becomes my responsibility to upgrade, to elevate the level of competence of the person. Regarding my commitments, I am already in the journey of UHP since last one and a half years. And I have been participating in different activities, just like translation work, PPI, FAQ. Recently, I have joined in the FAQ activities also. Registration process, morning calling, then content sharing. And the most important part, what I understand is my availability for the resource team, for all the activities. I have decided to contribute more time and energy towards the propagation of USB so far as the societal sensitization of the people is concerned. I have been sharing the contents with the general public and the students of educational institute since last two years. More than 20 such events have already been organized and I will keep continuing that. And 
the last but not the least as expected by our esteemed resource persons the paper has already been put up to dopt authorities department of personnel and training for approval from from approval for approval from dopt authorities to get this package officially approved and channelized for civil civil service officers of government of india that is under process and because the attention of the authorities is on the preparation of new training calendar for this financial year which commenced april this year so hopefully after 2 3 months they will concentrate upon this i will be coordinating with them and there is a positive hope and we are sure we trust that that will get materialized so that our civil service officers also will get trained about this uhb who are the future of this nation you can say all the best thank you once again for the esteemed participants for enlightening us and thanks to the co explorers for being a wonderful part of this journey thank you